What is up guys? Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new episode of Spin Tires Mudrunner American Wilds. Now in this episode we're going to pick up right back where we left off, uh, actually literally in the exact spot we left off in, in the Western Star, right after dropping off that last load of lumber. And what we're going to do is, I'm thinking that the best course of action for this one is going to be to grab... Um, some scavenge, like, basically do, like, this, like, the scavenge, uh, system, and I'm thinking that, let's see, where's this skitter? All right, here, so, we've got long logs, so I'll tell you what, let's grab the long logs and pull them out of the swamp, because I've never been down in here, so this should be very interesting, so we're gonna grab the long logs with the skitter, pull them out of the swamp, and see if we can get them up close to the garage right there where we'll probably rescue the Freightliner to the garage or maybe use another... You know what? We might actually see if the Chevy Bison uh, has a long log trailer. If it does, I'm going to use that because I've never actually towed with it before. So, towed, hauled, whatever you want to say. So, let's get real close before we... Well, before we get too close, let's see about getting turned around real quick. And all we need to do it oh god <laughs> I was like uh boy <laughs> All right so let's open it and we'll lower it just a little back up just a little and lower it just a little and grab so that should be... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh. All right. Well, needs to be a lot lower, I guess. There we go. Now we shouldn't have to be concerned about it. Oh, God. That was... That was weird. It wasn't... They weren't supposed to do that. But, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure why they did. Okay. So, pick these up. So they're kind of a little bit... Like, kind of in a little bit more of a easy to manage place and now we just need to head out to uh head out to the garage or head towards the garage if i can get there without getting stuck which i'm not worried about getting stuck in okay logs available at new scavenge site all right i'm not worried about getting stuck uh in the skitter the skitter could pretty much go through whatever it wants i mean it's a big tractor it's not really a uh an issue so let's see we got a log station near here too but we're ignoring the log stations uh, for this part of the adventure, and uh, we're kind of, um, kind of focusing on, kind of focusing on whatever can actually, you know, um, kind of focusing on loading things up, you know, ourselves as opposed to letting the game do it for us. So the garage is going to be, or at least the quickest way to the garage is going to be to take this left here. And I would not take the Freightliner or the Bison or the Ford down here for that matter. I would take the Western Star. But that's probably the only thing I would take down this way. Uh, the, the Western Star is capable enough. The others are not. This is. This is fine. And then I would take the I would take the F-150 down here. I would take the K-5 down here. Those would be fine. Uh, those things actually are way more capable than they look. And well, actually, surprisingly so. Like, those two continue to surprise me with their capabilities. Mainly because of the fact that you think, oh, this is not going to be that much more capable than a UAZ. But it is. It's, it's a lot more. And it's, it's, it's almost to the point where you wonder if they looked at it while they were developing the game. And they went, you know what? These need to be... They're like, you know what? The UAZ is, like, super weak. We need to, we need to give you, like, a better scout vehicle, like, from the get-go. I, I wonder if that was part of the thinking, because if it was, I would absolutely... I would find that absolutely hilarious. But let's see what we can do now that we're up at the garage. And I don't know if this thing has anything that, that you know, any add-ons you can... Oh, my... Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! So much stuff! Wow, that's like actually a like a crap ton of stuff that I did not know you could do. That's really cool, actually. Like the fact that you can do a lot more with that thing than I originally thought. That's really cool. Okay. So with that being said, let's move this thing off to the side and let's kind of just let it be for a second, and then we'll grab the which is the one that can. I think it's. It's the Freightliner. Yeah, it's the Freightliner that has the ability to use the crane. 
So, let's see. Yes, I know it's not suited for off-roading. Thank you for telling me. So, uh, let's see. Hitch, log cart with crane. Okay, so the log cart with crane is all on and set up. Now we need to switch to the Chevy Bison. Uh-oh, wrong Chevy Bison. <laughs> wrong Chevy Bison. And then now we need a log carriage and a... What? Oh, okay. We need a log cart hitch and a long log cart. And from there, we can move this thing into place. I just want to line it up so it's, like, really, really straight so we don't have to be concerned with, like, position your truck properly, position your truck properly, position your truck properly 15 million times. Which ends up happening a lot more often than you might think. So, let's go ahead and back it up just a little bit so it's centered-ish. It's not... It's not perfect, but it's centered-ish. And I'm trying to think about the best way to get the freight liner, like, positioned. Hmm. Because we're going to have to end up basically lifting... No, you know what would be the best? I'll tell you exactly what would be the best position for this. Uh, let's see. Uh, K8400 skitter, where is it? Oh, it's literally right under the Chevy. What I would like to do is back up, but I don't... Okay, you know what? First thing we got to do is get the Chevy Bison out of here because it's going to get in the way. It's 100% going to get in the way. That's the only way that we're going to be able to put that skitter where we want it. Because the skitter is going to have to get backed up. And then once it gets... Oh, God. Once it gets backed up to where it needs to be... Hmm. Hmm. Or we could just, I don't know, do it real the really simple way and then just drop those. Like, I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. All right, we'll move this this guy out of the way and then we'll switch to the bison. That was honestly probably not the best place to put it, but I'm not concerned about it. At least not right now. <laughs> we could sort it out later. All right, so this is, uh oh, stop. I was about to say, like, stop, please. Get you just a little bit closer. Okay, well. Stop. Oh my god, it's... There, stop. Just stop. Right there. Stop right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna move it anymore like that. I'm just gonna, like, stop it right there. And that'll be that. So we're gonna pull up on the other side. And I think this is gonna work. And if it doesn't work, I have another idea. But if, if, if this does work... Then it'll be exactly what we needed. So, eh. I was like, "Man, let's let's not." Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, you could like. If you, I was gonna say, if you could like not do that, that would be brilliant. Okay, so let's see. Crane, and oh god! Oh god! I. Every time I use this thing, well, not every time I use this thing, but, like, sometimes when I use it, I mildly, I wouldn't say I forget how it works, but at the same time, I <laughs> might not be the best at it all the time. So, let's see if we can get both of these in one go. Oh, we got them almost in the middle, too. No way. Oh, my God. If we end up doing this, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Up. Out a little bit, maybe. And down. No. No, no. Gonna have to rotate him a lot more. Okay. So now, kind of inch him back. And... Just about to where we can go ahead and drop him. At least I think we are. All right, so I'm just going to pack the crane up because if that is all we needed to do, number one, I'm going to be a little bit surprised, but number two, okay, position your truck properly. I figured we were going to have to reposition it a little, but... Oh, crap, and we can't do it when we're in the garage. So forward a bit. Stop. So we need to move that just a little bit that way. 
Perfect. Load it up. Like, that was... That was <laughs> a lot easier than it almost should have been. Like, that was... Pretty impressive, I have to say. Like, and I think we are going to end up probably going the long way around for this one. Yeah, because we're going to have to. Oh, yeah, we are going to have to. So we're going to go down here, make a, make a left. I think that'll be quicker if we make a left. Yeah, but it's still kind of the long way. So setting off in the Chevy Bison now. I've never hauled anything with this truck. This is the very first time hauling any sort of load of lumber with this truck. And so far, I mean, obviously it's not bad. It's not terrible at all. It's kind of one of those trucks where... Oh, and I just realized I didn't look at the fuel. I mean, the fuel is okay, but I, I just... It popped into my head. It was like, you could be low on fuel. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh god, thank god I'm not low on fuel. But I feel like this is kind of like the underappreciated one of the bunch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, here we go. This might be a little bit sketchy. We're in fifth, but that's also because we are not going uphill right now, and the dirt that we're dealing with is kind of hard-packed, so not too concerned about it. Oh, almost there. Please. Oh, my God. Make it. Oh, it's sinking. Yeah, it's sink. Oh, wait. That might be kind of our best bet. I know it's kind of in a weird spot, but if we could just inch forward a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, oh, I had a little bit of movement there. Not much, but a little bit. It's slowly moving like it, it's ever so slowly moving. That is low one, and if you look at that front wheel, you can see that it is slightly turning. Very slightly turning. So I bet you, with a little- Yes! Dude! Wow, that's impressive. Okay. I did not expect it to be able to just kind of pull itself out of there, but it did. It actually- It actually did. I'm properly blown away by that. Alright, well, let's see. Truck entrance. Once we get back onto some, like, you know, some better pavement, we'll be fine. But that was really impressive. That was really, really impressive. I thought we were going to have to go and get another vehicle. But when I saw that there was just that hint of movement, just that tiniest, tiniest hint of movement, it was like, okay, no, there's a chance here. There's definitely a chance here. Put it up in high and put it in automatic. Oh... Automatic didn't really... Well, it kind of worked out. It bogged for a second, and then it came back up. So, this is where we're going to be making that left. Because if we go to the right, I mean, we could do it. But I feel like it would be longer. It just feels like it would it would take longer if we went that way. Alright. Residential quiet zone. Please be respectful. Well, it's not like we have a Jake break to use. So cool, though. Like, I love going through these little towns. I genuinely love going through these little towns. It's freaking cool, man. It's like, the, the, the map is so cool. Hey, there's my house. <laughs> Don't mind me, just taking up the entire road. Just log truck stuff, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is gonna wind around just a little bit, and then it'll be a long right-hander. A really long right-hander. And then once we... Uh-oh. That looks like a pretty good size hill. Uh, I'm not concerned enough about fuel to stop and fill up. I'm genuinely not. Like, I'm not worried about it. I'm not concerned about it. We can just, like, let, let, just leave it in high and let it go from here. Well, not even high, just automatic. Wow, I saw how steep that hill was, and I started to get really concerned that it was going to have a problem with it, like, in automatic mode, but it did not have any issues at all. It didn't have any, anything of the sort. It was just, it just went. So... Let's see if, because I believe this is this is that long right-hander. Because once we get around to the other side, we may have a downhill to deal with. And when we have a downhill to deal with, I've learned my lesson. Trust me, I learned my lesson on the pa uh, on the previous map, like in the past. Because, oh, <laughs> I really don't want to reload this truck in a random spot and have to drive the skidder all the way out here. That is the last thing I want to do. Like, trust me, that is the last thing I want to do. 
Be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, God. Well, be prepared for the unexpected, eh? Hopefully no random rock slides happen. Although, I don't think they really... I don't think this game really has the capacity... Well, it kind of has the capacity to do that. Like, if they're held in by logs or something. But, like... Like, some mod maps have done things like that. Uh, the, the base game hasn't really done, like, simulated rock slides or anything like that. But it would be kind of one of those things where, like... It would happen once. And then you would always know it was going to happen. So, it kind of would be a little bit, like... It would get redundant after a while, you know what I mean? Like, you would be like, and I know that there's going to be a rock slide that happens around this corner. Now, would it be any less cool? No, but it would still be kind of redundant. Now, this is probably the, well, not probably, I think it is the highest bridge I have ever seen in, a, in like, one of the stock maps. It's so, so high that, like, you can't really kind of comprehend how high this, this bridge is. Until you go over it and you look at how deep the ravine underneath you is. It's it's absolutely insane, especially for a stock map. Now, we should be getting real close to the objective now. I think we're probably just around the corner. Haven't seen any lumber mill signs yet, though. And that's usually like the big telltale sign that we're getting close is like actual lumber mill signs. But once we get... Oh, I see it. No sign necessary for that. I see it. So we're going to go ahead and make a left here. We'll go ahead and go ahead and head in. I see the Western Star there from the previous load of lumber that we dropped off. No need for that yield sign. Oh, hello, F-150 with a cap. That's cool. All right. And go ahead and pull in. And that will be a six-point load delivered. First load um, that we've ever delivered with the Chevy Bison. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Spin Tires Motor American Wilds, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you guys later.